Good morning. These weeks are always my favourite. I've got a real mix of a week. We've got renovations that we're getting on with. The mound is nearly cleared and I've got some stuff that I want to do in the home. So for the renovations, Ollie has actually got a few days off and he is finishing the mound. It is basically flat. It has taken nearly three six yards gifts though. And then if we finish that in time, we are hoping to knock down the bathroom, which is kind of crazy because that's the first room we've done, but more about that later. We have Teddy's christening, which I'm a little bit stressed about because I was anticipating that he would wear um, my christening gown or Ollie's. He didn't fit into Ollie's. I was hoping that he'd wear mine and it was a little bit feminine. Um, Prince George wore one quite similar. So I was like, he can pull it off. But he is so active now. I think he's just outgrown. He's too old for it. I think I've ordered like a shirt and a short, which I think will work a lot better, but like super last minute. I'm just waiting for a few more things to come in for him. Ollie and I are actually wearing, which is quite sweet. We're wearing the outfits that we wore the like rehearsal dinner before our wedding. So I'm wearing the same dress and Ollie is wearing the same suit. And we've actually got a photographer taking some pictures there that day. So I won't be able to share them in this video, but I'll probably pop some of those up on Instagram. Just a bit of organizing to do for that. I'm getting flowers in and we're getting a cake done. I'm not doing the cake, guys. I decided that it wasn't worth the hassle. All these cake didn't go to plan and I'm so glad I decided that because I think this week is gonna be a hectic one anyway. And then today, which kind of seems mad, time goes so quickly. Little one is in his nursery now fully at night. Honestly, I probably would have never done it if it wasn't for Ollie, but he is actually happier there. I feel a little bit, not guilty, but I feel like it was the right time. He wasn't really fitting in his next to me anymore. And as soon as he went into his um, cot next door, he was already rolling. He rolled back and forth quite early. He crawled quite early. So I think he had the confidence to be moving around and now he like sleeps on his side and his front, which he's really enjoying. And so we have our room back, which is quite bittersweet. Um, but it means that I wanna get going in here a little bit because I have projects in here that I want to get on with. I and mean, I was kind of waiting for this moment when we got our room back completely. And it's the strangest feeling because we never really had this room without Teddy. We were only in it for a very short amount of time. And then it was like postpartum and it was all a bit crazy and it was very hectic. As far as like stuff everywhere, <laughs> nappies, clothes, you know, we had his next to me. We had a, we still had the bouncy ball. Like uh, we still have in here actually his chair. But now that that's like slowly moved out of the room, we have it back and I'm wanting to do some renovation projects up here. So I'm gonna do the lobby. But part of that, we kept putting his next to me into my wardrobe area. And I wanna have a sort out in there. I still have all my maternity clothes. It's not that bad, but I just wanna give it a clear out. And I always feel like with having some new stuff in, I've got some new stuff from Forford and Blake. I feel like I've also got to take some stuff out. I'm not always on that one in, one out basis, but I'd like to be somewhere around that. So yeah, I wanna show you those new pieces in. Forford and Blake are really kindly offering a discount too, 15% off, I'll put the code here, and I'll of course be linking all of the items below. But yeah, it should be a really fun week. Cozy home, mixed with renovations. This is like my home body's dream. These are said christening outfits. Let me turn the light on might be a bit orange but it will adjust um ollie didn't actually wear the full suit for our wedding but he's wearing the green trousers for the christening too and this is the last minute outfit that i got for teddy i think it's very sweet though the shoes are downstairs this was my um christening gown which maybe in hindsight teddy um knew that he wasn't meant to be with wearing this one maybe it was a little bit too feminine it has got pretty much like flowers and bows all over it. Uh, he looked cute in it though when we tried it on. I mean, he probably would ruin it too. And I mean, generally I keep my wardrobe pretty neat and tidy. It's, it doesn't usually get like really messy, but it just gets unorganized and a little bit unusable. The only bit that I do have, and I have to ask you guys, is I store up here some items that I've worn but like don't need to be put in the wash. What do you do with those clothes? Do you hang them back up? Do you put them in a certain area? I know some people put them in like a wash basket, but I feel like then they get like too creased. I mean, oh, <laughs> not that that isn't getting them creased, but I can kind of see these items here. Or do you just wash them? But I feel like with a baby now, I'm trying, really trying not to wash so much because we have tons of washing. 
this gorgeous jumper is the first new in piece into my wardrobe i really 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 fell for the color and i am i'm still in a little bit of an oversized era at the moment with my clothes so i went for this one in a large and with the transitional period if you can see i'm actually wearing it with shorts shorts and jumper season is one of my favorite this like a little bit in between something that feels very cozy to me about wearing shorts um, and jumper when it's like still warm enough but you don't have to be like fully covered up anyway it's a bit of a rugby shirt style you've got the buttons if you did want to button it up on the side there and i love that the arm comes a little bit over here so it's really easy to wear it oversized i am like rolling the sleeves up there and i'll put you back a little bit further if you went for it in a smaller size or more true to your size, then you could definitely wear it tucked in a little bit more, which I think equally would look really nice. That's more the look that you're going for. As I said, I'm into the like baggy chuck on, especially being a mum at the moment, things being tucked in when you're like running around on the floor, bending down a lot, doesn't always say tucked in. So I'm, I'm leaving it relaxed and effortless. Then underneath here, I'm wearing today a really great layering piece. One thing I actually struggle with a little bit in my wardrobe is t-shirts, t-shirts that suit me, they have like a nice um, neck, I find high neck often makes me look a little bit boxy so this one works quite nicely and you can undo like as many buttons, you can have them done up or undone a bit if you wish and I really love that this t-shirt has um, a longer arm, I'm not a huge fan of like sleeveless so this I feel like really suits and it's got the most gorgeous pattern on it, so feminine and pretty. I'm keeping this on to show you this one, which I know I am going to grab for all of the time because it is um, a shirt which I'm wearing so much, but it's a muslin material, which means that it shouldn't need to be ironed. And so straight out of the wash, I can just grab it and go, which makes it so practical for just like busy lifestyle. Thought this t-shirt uh, like went really nicely underneath it, kind of like color, color blocking the same colors. In fact, it is very much the same tone. And right now I've just got it completely open. So wearing it at the moment in this like more like transitional, hopefully still get like a nice end of um, August and September. Then when the jeans come back out and the trousers can button it up, but you can still have this lovely layering t-shirt underneath as well. This one is basically the color palette that I want for our bedroom. <laughs> Got the lovely green and the warmth of the pink too. And I really love the crisp white rugby shirt style, which I haven't had in my wardrobe in a long time. And it's quite nice to add one back in, especially for like the cozy season months coming up. You can just feel how cozy this is gonna be. And as well, if you're like a homebody like me, I love being at home. I love being comfortable at home, but I also wanna feel like I look semi put together or semi nice and it takes away a little bit from that like hoodie loungewear but equally it gives the feel of feeling like you're still in your pajamas everything in my wardrobe now has to pretty much be dress up dress down i pop some jeans on and i tuck this one in because i promise i still do also dress up um another shirt that i'm very much into i love these collars you know i adore them when it comes to that transitional period where you can start wearing gilets and like the more vesty jumpers and make an outfit look much more styled um with having those like layering pieces this one is really a showstopper for the like gorgeous little print on it. Like the t-shirt, such a pretty floral feminine print to it. Um, and I actually really like the color of this beige. It's very, very warming. And it goes lovely right now with some white trousers. So I can see this with those like lovely olive greens when autumn does come. Ollie's just doing some banging around and little one has woken up, but don't forget that 15% off for the Borford and Blake. I really reach for their stuff all the time in my wardrobe. It's such good quality. And I think these like transitional pieces are perfect for wearing now, but as we also come into the cozy season. No doubt I'm gonna get out my autumn clothes and September is going to be really beautiful but I think I'm going to keep a bit of both. I really don't have a lot of clothes much that I'm wearing at the moment because I'm still breastfeeding so that just gives such a challenge with my old clothes and I'm definitely not back to where I used to be as far as like with trousers and stuff from pre-pregnancy. Why are they still in my wardrobe? How long did you guys keep your maternity stuff in there? I haven't, I literally haven't worn them since. Well to be honest I didn't even wear them at the end of pregnancy because I found them uncomfortable so Maybe more like seven, eight months. Now I need a box for storing maternity stuff. You'll have 
have to excuse any renovation noise. There's a lot going on in our area. I have completed the wardrobe. It's looking a lot neater and tidier, to be honest. I didn't actually get rid of much, but just having a really good go through. I was a bit surprised about how much, especially in these drawers, I had of like maternity wear. And instead of them being full to the brim, I actually now have a little bit of space. Job done very slowly into these nap times. And actually, I've still got the piles of like maternity wear and stuff here that I need need to find somewhere to put but I think I'll probably pick you up again another day oh let me show you the shoes oh his first shoes aren't they adorable I think I might need to get some socks to go with them though it's hard to tell from this angle but I'd say that that is kind of half full already it's a bit later the mound is finished and I've just been helping Ollie do this so we are where the boiler tank is this is where we're working on the new bathroom and bedroom as like the next project and we decided to put the dust guard back a little bit so that if this project takes a while which no doubt it will when it gets cold we can come and turn our heating on here without it being inside the dirt zone and um, so put studs all around the wall there and then we've got the dust sheet going on in and Ollie's just doing some tidying up in there at the moment. Today we're going full circle on this house and demolishing the first room that we ever did. So this is a little trip down memory lane. When we moved into the house, we didn't have a bathroom really that we felt like we could utilize and shower in. So we did a very quick fix on this one. We put some tiles over the current shower or the shower that was there originally. There's a bath in there. A bath, yeah. sorry, that's why I meant a bath. And um, it was so poor that we actually, I'd bath first after doing renovations and then Ollie would use my dirty bath water because we were so tired and it just like wasn't a nice bathroom to bath in anyway. Oh boy, it was so old as well that waiting for more hot water would have just taken <laughs> far too long. So we've come a long long way since then and then we did another little upgrade with this one because we wanted to be able to be proud of it and really use it and we did have an idea at one point that we would put a lodger up here like we did downstairs but cutting long story short Covid happened and that never happened but it's been lovely having this bathroom. Now though it's going to be our forever bathroom and so today is the day comes out. And it probably comes out. Mm. And the other thing was is that we're very curious and so we, we can't wait to just like strip this back see the space that we have especially behind this wall because number one I think there's quite a bit of space behind here. Yeah I think it comes out a bit yeah. And whether to see whether it did go mouldy because we've got so many comments on the original video being like just putting wood in there will be awful don't do it. We knew it wasn't gonna be a forever bathroom but at the same time like it's stood up really well for like how quickly we did it and how much money we spent on it yeah it's been brilliant yeah so i don't know i can't recommend people do the wrong thing but i'm like if you're on a budget just do what you can and we knew that it was going to be temporary like Holly said so like we knew that we were going to be ripping it out now to do it properly right then where should we start feeling a little bit emotional about taking this one out yeah, i know i think i've got a picture on my phone somewhere of like me in the bath like and you can't even see through the water. Yeah, I, 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 don't think, I don't think the internet needs to see that. <laughs> not working with a huge amount of space here but I thought I'd give you a little overview for people who might be new to the channel um, so we put in this walk-in shower which was very cheap off Amazon it actually has never fully <laughs> been screwed into the wall yeah just falls off like that if you're doing a quick fix I couldn't recommend these plastic sheets that we put in enough they're obviously again not the most beautiful thing but tiling this was a headache Putting these up, a few minute job, like literally it went so quickly. In here, I don't know if we'll have a photo of this, but this is where the old boiler tank would be. And we had it as storage, which we've obviously now cleared out. The one underneath is <laughs> a little bit spooky. And there you can see all of the original plaster and right down to the floorboards underneath. A bit annoyingly in this cupboard, we have some boiler pipes coming through. So these are just going to be chilling in the middle of the room after this demo until we get them moved. But everything is coming out of this room, including the ceiling. So we should be able to open it up. And in the top, we also have an attic hatch here, which is going to be moving out of the room. <laughs> The 
this bit I'm really interested in because whether water got in behind here kind of says whether this whole thing ever worked, which I'm pretty sure it did, but it would just be really interesting to see because we literally stuck it up with glue and nothing else. We're doing the other one. we had that shower in we had any leaks because underneath here you can just about see that blue line that's the plasterboard on the back and if plasterboard gets wet it kind of blow, blows and so that's just the paper pulled up the plaster is still solid behind it all the way along there and back here we didn't really know what we we're doing but which makes it doubly bad I feel if you have a bathroom done and it kind of get sponged and you do get a leak. Like how badly do you have to do it in order to then have leaks? and the skip because quite a lot of wood has come on off of these walls so i've done this one and this one we're back to the gorgeous green well it's been a few days and i feel like the things that i was talking about at the beginning of the video just blurred i came down really unwell the day before the christening which is just typical because you very rarely get these nice occasions in life i didn't even feel or know that it was coming on but the, um, yeah, the day before, I just came down with this horrific fever. We had like a really high fever up in the 39, 40s, but I was like uncontrollably shivering, like teeth chattering, shivering and under the covers. I had no like cold or flu symptoms, so I have no idea what it was, just really like a fever and like a headache. Awful when you're also trying to look after a baby and plan for an event. I did get like a small clip of the flowers, which was so so oh, gorgeous and so pretty. I got them from a local florist, just like a big bouquet, and then I put them in two separate vases so that we had them for the afternoon tea after the event. So we, we thankfully didn't host, we went somewhere local afterwards and we just had a few little tables. So I put those out and I put some flowers next to the cake. Hopefully I'll be able to insert a picture of that here because we took those photos. And I did feel better for the day, well enough to thankfully really enjoy it, but I think it took it out of me because then the day after I was feeling pretty poorly again. So that basically sapped the end of our week. Thankfully, back on the men now because we are off to London this week, but I will check in with you and catch up with you when we are in London. And then I can't quite believe it, we will be in September and autumn is here and I've got that beginning of the season feeling but anyway I will check in with you guys then I hope you're well and I will see you next week